friends, welcome to a new happy learning video. Look at these images. Do you know what we're looking at? Exactly, they are angles. And today we are going to learn many things about them. An angle is a space between two intersecting lines or surfaces that emerge from the same point called vertex. If you look around, we are surrounded by angles like the ones this clock handles. or an ice cream cone makes. The unit of measure of the angles is the degree. And the most important angle of all is this one. It's called a right angle and it measures 90 degrees. The tiny zero you can see in the right upper part of the number 90 is a symbol that represents all angles. We say that a right angle is the most important one because it is the one that is used to compare all of the other angles. The angles that are smaller than a right angle are called acute angles and they measure less than 90 degrees, like all of these. And the angles that are bigger than a right angle are called obtuse angles and measure more than 90 degrees like all of these. To know the degrees that an angle measures, we need to use this instrument, which is called a protractor. So, we need to place the straight part of the protractor over one of the sides of the angle, making the vertex and the central point of the protractor meet. After this, we need to look at the protractor line on the other side of the angle and look at what number it says. These are the degrees that an angle measures. Easy peasy, huh? Let's practice. We said that a right angle is 90 degrees. Let's see. We'll get the protractor and indeed! A right angle is 90 degrees. We haven't fooled you, huh? Now, let's measure this angle. Let's see how much it measures. 45 degrees. It's an acute angle because it is smaller than a right angle. And now, we're going to check out how much this other angle measures. 120 degrees. Of course. It's an obtuse angle because it measures more than 90 degrees. Imagine that instead of being 120, it measures 180. Do you know what this angle is called? We call it a straight angle. Hey, and what about if it measures 360 degrees? Well, that's a complete or full angle. It's complete as can be. A circumference measures 360 degrees. What a discovery! Measuring angles is easy peasy and fun, don't you think? Goodbye friends and don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV. Great! You've completed the video. Now continue the route with the reading card, the video game, and the activity. Polygons A polygon is formed by a closed polygonal line and the space inside it. To understand what that means, watch this straight line become a polygonal line as it forms several sides, which eventually close. And what do you see? A polygon. Easy, right? A polygon is made of several elements. The side is each one of the segments that form the polygon. The vertex is the point where two sides meet, a corner. 
and the angle is the space formed between two sides that meet at a point. There are many kinds of polygon, so we classify them in different ways. The first classification we can make is if they are regular or irregular polygons. A polygon is regular if all its sides and angles measure the same as each other. In these images you can see all the polygons are regular, the sides and the angles are the same. On the other hand, these polygons are irregular because their sides and angles are not equal. Another way to classify polygons is by the number of sides they have. Polygons with three sides are called triangles. Those with four sides are called quadrilaterals. And with five sides, they're called pentagons. With six sides, hexagons, and so on. There are many more. Now, let's find the polygons in these pictures. Look carefully. Can you see any polygons? Good. As you can see, the pyramid, the boat sails, these buildings, and the panels of this hive where bees make their sweet honey are all polygons. So, let's remember the important things about polygons. A polygon is formed by a closed polygonal line and the space inside it. A polygon has several elements, sides, corners or vertices, and angles. A polygon is regular if all its sides are the same length and all its angles are equal. And a polygon is irregular if the sides or angles are not equal. Polygons can be classified by the number of sides they have. If they have three sides, they're triangles. If they have four sides, they're quadrilaterals. If they have five sides, they're pentagons. And if they have six sides, they're hexagons. So, now we know about polygons. Interesting, don't you think? Goodbye for now, everybody. And don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.